here we see the witcher in his natural environment, stalking a horse, ready to eat it. But first he must get the beast down, from which perch on high. Assessing the situation, he now makes the R. Oh dear, it's not working. Truly, this is a fearsome beast. It needs Igni. It's down. The feast can begin. Man has a long sought to tame the boat. But can the witcher do it? It appears, oh dear. Oh no, the boat is retaliating. The witcher must get out before it devours him. Oh no, he is trapped. We may see another witcher killed by a boat. Wait, what is this? The boat is not devouring. Here he is. The witcher is too sturdy. But how long can he last against such a tremendous foe? Oh dear, we may not find out. Oh, this is getting graphic. Oh, we cannot show anymore. Here we see the suit of armor in its natural environment, foraging for bugs to regain strength. Oh, it has seen the witcher and is now performing its mating dance, refusing the witcher for another suit of armor. What a present display. The witcher needs to get to the other side of the mountain. And the horse is too dangerous, so it floats. Here we see a dwarf using a booster chair. Truly, they are becoming smarter and stronger. And here we see a crack in the world. It appears that we have found a portal to the rift, the warp. We must um, guard ourselves from Slanesh, Nurgle, and Corn. Zinch will probably trick us. Such a place holds many dangers, such as the man eating cupboards and the man eating shelves. And this final part Come on. is a PSA. Never get on a horse near a bloody cliff. And the final, final part. How to defeat a demon. Yes, after a demon is killed, you can walk through its body. Don't worry, that's normal. I'm looting its corpse, killing it. It's okay. 